Destroy the evil charms that was dropped in your home, your office, your shop, anywhere. You are going to destroy them by fire. Listen attentively. Let me teach you how it goes. You can destroy it. The plants that will drop to destroy you, to cause you pain, you are going to destroy it on behalf of them. Very simple and it's very effective. Make sure you listen attentively. God bless you all. As you are coming in, share the video. As you share, God will bless you. You cannot fight alone. God is always available for you. He said, do not be afraid, for I am always with you. I will fight for you. I will stand with you. I will save you from the hands of your enemy. Any man or woman that has dropped charms to destroy your business, to destroy your family, your company, whatever, in the name of Jesus, they shall not succeed. You don't need too much. I have two things to teach you tonight. If you see the charm, listen attentively. When somebody drops charm for you, and you see it, listen, look, check out this message. She said, they'd always drop sacrifice in front of her shop, blood sacrifice, and she do not make sense anymore. I don't know who make those sacrifices, and I don't know the reason behind the sacrifice. If you do not send anyone to do sacrifice for you, and you meet sacrifice in your office, shop, in front of your house, don't take it lightly. Do not take it. Make sure you do something so that that chance will not work, so that it will not manifest in your life and in your business. Are you getting it? Whatsoever that was dropped or a bat will be dropped in the name of Jesus, the plan, the plans behind it shall not stand in your life. God bless you. You don't need too much. I will use a shop for an example. If you meet it in your home, I don't want this video to be too long. If you meet champs in your home or anywhere, follow up the instruction. It's the same thing. If you meet champ, I want to reply to this very woman that brought out this thing because it was her shop, okay? If you meet champs in your shop, blood or whatever, don't worry. Are you getting it? If it will take you to go back home to get what I am about to tell you now, go back home and come back. If you have it around you, prepare it and use it to destroy the plants. Are you getting it? Go and get You need a hot water. When I mean a hot water, the one where it don't boil. A hot water. First of all, pick up your barrel. Let me give you the verses. I want this video to be short. I have a prayer session tonight with the upcoming Mondays. Give me your, take your barrel and write the prayers down. The Bible verses down. Pick up Matthew 17. Please, if you are a fast writer here. Write it as so I will pin it so we can move on, okay? You will destroy that chance that was planned to destroy you by the grace of God. Matthew 17 verse 20. Isaiah 41 verse 10. Psalm 1 to 1. Read from 4 to 8. Okay? God bless you. My pleasure. Are you getting it? Write those three verses down. If you are new here, please. Just be patient and listen. I'm, 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 I'm going to be rushed today. I don't have time, okay? You can rewatch the video later. Matthew 17, verse 20. Isaiah 41, verse 10. Psalm 1, 2, 1. You read from 4 to 8. See, the word of God is there to give you strength and confidence. And if you are afraid of a blood you meet in your shop, office, in your doorsteps, See, it's an error. Are you getting it? Because greater is he, he that is in you than that very power they are using. Are you getting it? So go ahead and write the Bible verses down. I repeat the Bible verse again. Matthew 17 verse 20. Please fast. Okay, someone write it out already. It's pin on the comment section. God bless you, Brother Pius or Sister Pius. I appreciate. Let me just pin it down. Then we move ahead. God bless you. Immediately you meet it. Just go back home, get your water boiled. Very simple and active. Read the word of God and pray. Drop, see, plenty salt inside that hot water. Are you getting it? Say, Lord, Lord, you are my protector. If that's what you believe. You are my protector. In you, I put my trust. Every 
plants behind this blog, whatever you see in front of your shop, don't take it. Every plant, you did not send any one message. Behind this thing, let's assume behind this blood, in the name of Jesus, the name that is above every other name, I destroy it. Are you getting it? That's what you have to pray before you, after reading the Bible, you just have to pray this prayer. Say, Lord, you are my protector. God is your protector. That was the reason why he sent his son to die so that you will be protected. Are you getting it? So don't allow blood to make you close your shop and start running a task. You can destroy it. Lord, you are my protector. In you, I put my trust. Every plant behind this very blood, this charm, in the name of Jesus Christ, I destroy it. Yes, I know it, but I God bless you. I, there is nothing I can do about it. I always tell my followers, if you're a follower here, you should know that there are a lot of pages using my name and my profile picture. Don't fall a victim. They will tell you, come for business, bring money. They even share my video, put their phone number on it, telling you they are the ones speaking. It's not them. I am the only MBS on Facebook. The one that teaches you spiritual things. Are you getting it? Nobody else bears that name except they are scammers. They use my picture. They drop their phone number. The picture also appears on WhatsApp. Me, you will think you are chatting with me. Okay, please don't fall a victim. Don't give anybody your money. Anyone that needs your money for prayer is a scammer. Are you getting it? God bless you. Sorry for that distraction. Okay, so after the prayer, just carry the hot water that you have dropped a lot of. So see, it doesn't really matter how long it takes them to prepare that charm. Let me give you this example before I proceed. Sorry if I'm talking too much. If you sell a land, your father property to prepare a visa, only one man that is sitting down in the office can deny you that visa just because of little thing. Did you see that? The person will not even care how you make that money to st the stress you went through. They will just deny the visa flat. What am I saying? The process they pass through to prepare that charm is not your problem. It's, you don't even have to care about that. All you need to do is to destroy it. Just in few seconds, it is done. It will not work. It will not stand. After the prayer, just pour the hot water on that very thing you see there. Are you getting it? Let me drop my salt so that. Okay. Pour the hot water with the salt on that champs. It's done. Physically, spiritually. Prayers and the word of God controls the word. So, the, the, the power of these wicked people are below the power of God. They came because you were not there. Now that you have come with the one that is greater than them, hello, you destroy it with the power of God. Don't be afraid. Whenever you want to do a prayer like this, make sure you bring up boldness in you. Pray and it is done. The Bible said, if only you will believe, if only your faith will be as little as the most has said. He said, go ahead, you will move Martin. Are you getting it? If you can move Martin, you can destroy champs that was meant to destroy you. Let's assume, God bless you, fit are adjoin, okay? The beauty is not just... <laughs> okay, so let's assume you don't already use your leg carrier. The one they drop on your doorsteps and all on the way and you have used your body, your leg or your hand to carry the champ already. Hello, there is no power that is greater than the power of my God. Are you getting it? So don't just worry. Do it the same process. But you see, the hot water should not be as hot like the one you want to pour on that charm so that you will not burn yourself. If it is on your leg, let me give you an example with legs. If it is on your legs, get a warm water. Drop salt inside. Use your anything at all, like your hand or a cup like this. Use it to... Take the water, be dropping it on the spots in your legs, okay? Drop it. As you are dropping it, read the same verses to back yourself up, okay? As you are dropping it in the name of Jesus, any power that has put you in that position, you destroy it. Lord, you are my protector. 
Just say a word of prayer. Begin to drop the water with the salt. It is very powerful. Drop it and pray. Drop it and pray. Any area in your body at all. Begin to drop the warm water with the salt. Begin to drop it and say a word of prayer. Begin to pray. Begin to counsel. Begin to re rebuke. Are you getting it? They plan it to destroy you so that you will be paralyzed not to work anymore. It shall not stand. It shall not come to pass. The word of God has said it. Except you do not know who you are. Except you are not ready to set yourself free. If you are not sharing this video, you are not doing a favor because a lot of people are passing through a lot. Are you getting it? So, for the body, like your legs, make sure the alligator pepper you are seeing there, chew it. After chewing it, use your hand to rub it on that spot. I destroy the plants of the evil ones. In the name of Jesus, use your hand to begin to rub it. Chew it with your mouth. With your spit is very nice, okay? It's more active. God bless you. My pleasure, Mommy Jana. It's very active. As you chew it, bring it out. Let your spit be there. Do not allow it to be dry. Okay, mix it up with your spit. Rub it on your legs. The spot that you have that attack, it shall not stand. It shall not come to pass. God bless you for sharing. I appreciate Please do that. You are saving someone's life, okay? Amen. God bless you, sir. Samuel. Okay, my people. See, if you have a confidence, if you believe in yourself, go for it. If you do not believe in yourself, you know that you are not strong enough. You are not bold enough. Don't be rushed to do it. You need self-confidence. And also, confidence in God. The power In the power of God. Are you getting it? Don't be rushed to do it. You don't expect me to go home and come back when I see such. I might not even go too much taking a hot water. Because I know who I am. I know who I am. I know what lives in me. I know how my, the, the, the God I serve is the greatest. I don't have to do too much. Please, don't be in a hurry to do it. You have to first of all check yourself. See, if you want to be in this standard that I am telling you, it's very simple. Simple. Very simple. I don't want to be distracted. I will read the comment later. All you just need is to build your confidence in God. Are you getting it? Give him your life. Come closer to him. Build your hope and your trust in him. Believe in his power. Stay away from evil things. Continue to read his word. You see this word? The word of God. It will build you up. Give you strength, hope, boldness, confidence, and many more. Are you getting it? Do yourself a favor so that whenever they come, you will be able to bounce it back. It is an error for you to give up on them. Because when you do that, you do not know who you are. You don't even know yourself. Are you getting it? Don't give up on them. Because they will keep coming. The Bible did not say they will not come. The Bible did not say you will not receive temptation. But when they, will, when they come, you will pass over it. When you see the blood, you will pass over it. So when you meet, even if now buckets of blood you meet for your, your shop, brother, just do what I said. With the power that is backing you up, if only you believe in the power of God. You will wait in vain. You will even send more. More says. More says. More increase. More contracts will come. Their plans shall not stand. Every evil plant 
will stop you from rising. In the name of Jesus, it shall not stand anymore. Every evil power that is monitoring you all day, in the name of Jesus Christ, the one that died and resurrected, I destroyed them by fire. That power is being destroyed. Are you getting it? As I said, I have a prayer session tonight. Okay? I am going to be leaving you guys right away. I give you five minutes. If there is any question concerning this teaching, please don't bring other questions, okay? Concerning this very teaching, go ahead and ask. Maybe there is something I am not saying. Go ahead and ask now to avoid too much question on the comment section. I may not be there. I am so busy. God bless you. Mommy Grace, you are new here. You are welcome. Okay, feel free and relax. Enjoy the grace of God with us. On this very platform, this is where we do it raw with the power of God. Like, you must believe in the power. If you do not believe, now you they do yourself. Prayer session. No, prayer session is for people looking for the fruits of the womb. It's not online. We do that in bus, okay? People trying to get pregnant. All right, the people that wants to carry their Samuel and their Sarah. God bless you. Do we have any question? I'm about to end the video. Do we have any question? I am about to end the video. One minute, two minutes, I will be ending the video soon. Do you have any question? As I said before, do not forget the word of God will build you up. It will give you more confidence, strength, hope, and you will, like, you will be so powerful. Go and go. Make sure you go close to the word of God. That is this. The Bible. Go close to it. It will help you. I'm telling you. You will build your own confidence from zero to 100 with the word of God. You will be so powerful. You won't be afraid of them. Are you getting it? And God will never disappoint you. He will never disappoint you. You cannot do what you don't know. All I am telling you here will help you. But taking it and reading it on your own will build you up more like never before. It doesn't mean you will read 100 verses a day. Okay? Small, small. Start little by little. How will I destroy the one in family compound? Mommy Nelly. The charms in family company. Is that what you are saying? Somebody came to drop a charm in your family comp uh, company. Is the charm still there? And you saw it there. They brought a charm to your family company. And you left it. Is that what you mean? You are not supposed to leave it there. You are not supposed to leave it there. I face the same blood in front of my shop. Like seriously. And you, your gates. Shop and gates. Every evil plant, heart's love, bear every evil plant to off your light. In the name of Jesus, back to sender. It's re reversing back to the sender now. The Bible verse is pinned on the comment section. Sister Rita, please check it out there. Just click on it. It's the bestie comment. I pin it down. The evil plan to stop you, it shall not stand anymore. Whenever you meet the blood, just do what I told you now. See, if you do it, let me tell you this secret. If they plan against you, they will keep checking on you. It's like you plant a seed. You will want to see time to time how the seed is growing. It's doing, okay? So if they plan against you maybe they brought some champs i'm coming to answer your question mama they brought some champs into your shop your gate anyway tomorrow they will be the one to check it out what has happened you clean the blood come on wait it come so they, are, they want to check if their plan has come to pass so the reason why i'm saying this now if you do this today to destroy their plans and you meet it again next week don't be tired though 
Yes, because they are, they are also trying their best, their effort to destroy you. The thing you have to do is make sure you keep destroying their plans. You keep rendering their plan useless. The more they come, the more you shoot too. If they shoot, you shoot. If they shoot 10 times, sister, shoot 11 times. Don't be tired. So the brother that said he met the blood in his shop and gates, go ahead and do that. Prayer is the biggest key to cancel evil plans. Are you getting it? Oh, I'm sorry for that. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sister and uh, brother Bear, I'm sorry for the loss of your wife. Okay. You felt you felt it and uh, uh, you felt it spiritual physically. It was true spiritually. Spiritual controls the physical. Whatever happened in the physical, it don't really happen for spiritual. So that's it. You it is only prayer that can travel. See, prayer can travel to the spiritual realm. He will do the spiritual fights. And do not forget, no battle. God cannot come go to a battle without coming back with victory. Prayer will travel for you, sister, Tina. Prayer will travel for you and fight the spiritual battle for you. And the physical one, now zero like that, because the main one has been fought. Are you getting it? Okay. So make sure you embark on prayers. Your families that are in that house, go ahead. After the prayer, do some cleansing for them. With this same water, allow it to be warm, not hot. Are you getting it? Drop a, more than a pinch of salt inside. Not so much like you want to destroy the charm you met outside. Since it's a spiritual one. Embark on a midnight prayer. Read the word of God. Pray and tell God to cancel it. Are you getting it? After that, you do the physical one. Just take anointing oil here. After the cleansing, anoint everyone. Please do me a favor. Believe whatever you've done with the name of Jesus is done. Are you getting it? That's where we get it wrong. We always pray in fear, in doubt, which is not supposed to be so. Whenever you pray in doubt and in fear, it goes nowhere. And you can never fight any battle when you pray in, fight, in, in doubt and fear. Yes, exactly. God bless you all. I will be leaving you guys right now. I will see you guys again tomorrow by His grace. As I am leaving you guys right now, I leave you to the preservation of God. The protection from above, blessings all around, favor from men and women, people that will favor you, relocate you soon. I am not leaving you to death. If you are a member of this very platform, you shall not die your timely death. Premature death is not your portion. The fruit that God bless you with are preserved and protected. I am not leaving you to hospital bed, but happiness from above. You that lack peace in your home, in the name of Jesus, I release peace in your marriage. I release peace in your life. Receive peace into your marriage, in the name of Jesus. You that is on hospital bed, in the name of Jesus, receive your healing. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hear this. Whosoever that dig a pit for you will fall inside. Good night. God bless you all. Bye-bye.